Hello. I have two of these Grundig 2x4 Super V2000 video recorders, and they both work. But, though it's handy to have two machines, because occasionally a tape will play better in one than the other, what's slightly annoying is, though I have one remote control, I can't share it between the two, because on these machines, the remote control receiver was an optional extra. I only have one receiver. It'd be really handy if I had an extra remote control receiver. Special but, delivery. Uh, ooh. Thank you, Max. I wonder what this could be. Oh, well, here it is. It's a different colour. Never seen that colour before, so they must have made these machines in different colours. And it mounts on the side. But it needs a bracket. And there's no bracket in here between the bottom of the machine and the side. Although it seems to sort of fit there reasonably well without the bracket. But... Uh, I have to find a way to secure it. And then this multi-way plug goes into the back of the machine. Oh my heavens, look at the state of that. That's all very black and gungy. That doesn't look so good. So tell you what I'll do. I'll stuff this end in my ultrasonic tank for a while and see if we can clean it up. And then we'll test the uh, receiver out. Well, despite all the uh, cleaning in the uh, ultrasonic tank, it still looks absolutely horrible in places, so I might have to try something a little bit more mechanical uh, to clean the uh, pins. So uh, let's try this. Actually, that's working better than I expected. So um, I'll clean all the pins all the way around. Uh, I think it's possible that the time in the ultrasonic tank has softened as contamination already. So I'll clean it all up. Uh, and then I'll put it back in the ultrasonic tank, I think, uh, for a little bit longer to clean off any of these uh, fragments and re remnants. Those pins are looking pretty good now. So the sequence was one hour in the heated uh, ultrasonic tank, followed by a light going over with this cloth, and then another half an hour in the heated tank, and then blow dry with uh, an air duster which hopefully will get all the water off I'm concerned that some of the you know the the, the solution may have gone inside the plug I do hope not but uh, we'll just have to roll with that so I'll test it and if it works then I'll see about how to uh, mount it on the side right wish me luck machine playing right so if I hit pause yes let's try all the functions play oh well that's strange pause worked let's try uh, fast forward yes Stop, rewind, picture search, reverse picture search, stop, I'm not going to try record, I don't want to use that, and pause worked, but play, oh, play's working now. and stop. You'll see I've put markings on the remote control because the original legends here just don't make sense. I mean that's supposed to be play and that's supposed to be pause and that's supposed to be stop labelled tape. So they're so nonsensical I've just uh, drawn my own symbols on with a, a marker pen so I can see what I'm doing. Yep, that's all working fine now. Oh, I think the um, battery was falling out, hence it didn't work just now. Good, right. So how to mount it? I've just realised that the front isn't properly fitted on this. There's a bit of a gap there, and I think that's true of the one downstairs too, so the clips aren't mounted properly. 
I could take the top off and fix that. Shall I fix that? I suppose I should, since I'm here. That's better, it's much tidier. And I think I need to do the same with my machine downstairs as well. Now this should uh, look reasonably neat there, apart from the fact it's a completely different color. The original bracket here, I actually demonstrated on my machine downstairs. You take the bottom off and then it's, it slots in here with two prongs and sticks out as a metal plate and you fit these two screws in the metal plate. But we don't have the bracket and it almost stays there on its own. So I think for the time being, unless I can find a bracket somewhere or make one, is I'm, I'm trying to debate if I use uh, some sort of sticky Velcro or double-sided sticky tape or hot melt glue to stick it on. Let's see what I've got. But these ridges, that ridge there, sits in here. So it uh, sort of holds itself in the right, reasonably the right spot. I'm gonna go with a sticky pad. I'm gonna use one of these um, 3M ones. They're really good. They stick really, really well. Kind of get one shot at this because these pads stick like crazy. Here goes. That's pretty good. I'm pleased with that. Now, a bit more about V2000 remote controls. Other V2000 video recorders like this old Philips machine also had bolt-on remote control receivers. Really weird because other formats didn't tend to do this. Here's another V2000 video recorder I was working on recently. It's a VR2324. And I got this going uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, there's uh, another one as well. This one is a spare parts bin. And it has a slot here where a remote control receiver could be installed. So I was wondering, could I get one from somewhere? Well, I have some scrap VR2220s, which are the portable sort of equivalent of this. So I've gone out and collected the, the machine and the tuner timer unit for the 2220 combination uh, to see if I can find a remote control receiver to insert in here. So here's my scrap VR2220 portable and VR2120 matching uh, tuner timer unit. And some various bits that have fallen out. These are scrap. Uh, and I'm just trying to work out where the remote control receiver exists on this pair. Because looking at the Tuna timer, which is where I thought the remote control receiver would exist. There doesn't appear to be one. Or is it integrated into here somehow? Can we see an uh, infrared receiver anywhere? Alright, let's look on the front panel of the video recorder itself. Maybe it's on that side. No, I'm not seeing any infrared receiver on that either. So maybe this unit doesn't have remote control or it's some kind of bolt-on optional extra. So uh, no, this is not going to provide me with a remote control receiver for the 2324, which is a shame. Uh, I just assumed it would have it and it doesn't. Okay, so this portable equipment is not going to help us. But if anybody has a scrap VR2340 or one of the models similar to the 2324, which does have the remote control option built in. You'll be able to see, because there won't be a blank there, there'll be actually a, a receiver window. Then uh, do let me know, because it'd be great fun to upgrade this to remote control. I don't have a remote control either, but that's relatively easy to solve, because a lot of these one pound remote controls uh, from the pound shop will work uh, V2000 machines. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I'll do plenty more content on audio and video technology in the near future. Bye for now.